पर्स एट द आउटसाइड आई थैंक श्री के वी आर एस मूर्ति गारू ग श्री आके प्रभाकर राव गार अंड मै क्लासमेट इन काकनाड इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज के वी आर एस मूर्ति हू हाज गिवन मी दिस आपर्चुनिटी टू प्रेजेंट मै टापिक आनत्जातीय as introduced by shri prabhakar rao garu and others i am basically an electrical engineer worked in some government and private undertakings because of my interest from the beginning from my childhood because of my parents help and encouragement i have studied some books and puranas etc and i have written some books like valmiki ramayanam mahabharatam mahabhagavatam bhagavad gita adhyatma ramayanam sri chakranagaravanam that is arya visati and tiruppavai this is a translation into telugu and i have the opportunity to give my discourses in university of massachusetts boston america on sanat sujatiyam sitayanam and um the present subject is saurat sujatiyam it is from mahabharatam ujjog parva it is basically a conversation between dhritarashtra and saurat sujata first i will explain about the characters of sanat sujata and dhritarashtra who are the basic persons here dhritarashtra was not only physically blind but also mentally due to his affection towards his son duryodhana throughout the reign as a king of hastinapura he was torn between the principles of dharma and his love for his son and often ended up endorsing his son's actions further he is easily manipulated by his brother in law sekuni vidru mahasaya his close associate and he spent the whole night with him and advised him in many ways to come to a compromise with pandavas and give them away their part of kingdom later sanjaya also explained him that there is a problem of defeat on your part and it is better to come into a compromise with pandavas later maharshi samachujata had taught him about atma vidya 
Afterwards, Lord Sri Krishna also explained in many ways the effects of war. And to his fortune, he had given him Divya Netras and shown him Yusarupam also. Still, what is it? What is the use? He has not realized anything. He was so much blind towards his son. And finally, the war took place. In 18 days of Kurukshatra Sangrama, Dhritarashtra lost all his beloved sons, kith and kin. So it proves fate cannot be changed by even Ishwara. This is about Dhritarashtra. Coming to Swamatsu Jata, he is Brahma Manasaputra. Brahma first created four sons, Sanaka, Sanatana, Sanatkumara, and Sanatuyata. He asked them to go ahead with the procreation, but they disobeyed him and they were for the spiritual advancement of the world only. They don't have any material desires. They travel over the whole universe out of their own accord to preach devotional service. So our subject is between Dhritarashtra and Samachujata. Then you go. I go by your skin. Kanpurthu nandi? I can't pass the hand, sir. Oh, Kanpurthu nandi? Oh, correct. Right. Pandavas have completed their 12 years of forest life and one year of exile in Idra's kingdom. At the end of Virata Parvam, we see Arjuna's son, Avimanyu, gets married to Uttara, daughter of Virata Maharaja. After the marriage ceremony, marriage function, Sri Krishna has raised the subject of Pandava's share of kingdom. So, he suggested that Pandavas send an emissary to Dhritarashtra and Kauravas and demand for their share of kingdom. If necessary, a war may take also, he said. So instantly, Support was gathered from all the kingdoms and seven attorneys of army was mobilized. So what it shows, once your stars change in your favor, everything will become good. And we get, we forget all the difficulties in the life. Vidura Mahasi, uh, sorry, um, 
Virat, Virat Maharaja has sent a Brahmin, a land Brahmin, as an emissary to Dhritarashtra. He explained him how to talk in the meeting and convinced Dhritarashtra and Kauravas to hand over the, their part of kingdom just to him. The emissary has gone to Dhritarashtra and presented the feelings of Pandavas to the Kaurav Sabha. Dhritarashtra <clears throat> said, okay, we will send our reply to Pandavas, now you can go. Dhritarashtra called Sanjaya is charity in fact, but he is a close associate of Dhritarashtra and he is like a friend of Dhritarashtra. So he has, he said you go to Pandavas as, a, as an emissary and handle them in such a manner that they don't seek their part of kingdom. So Sanjaya went as an emissary of Dhritarashtra and Kauravas to Pandavas. Is Sanjaya is a typical person of he advises Yudhishthira not to insist for the share in the kingdom and said that begging is better than waging a war on his uncle's sons. As Dhritarashtra raised them like his own sons, as begging and serving under the kings had already become their habit, they can afford to live without kingdom for the rest of their life. So, he, this is a typical way of mission. It is called Sanjay Raba, Sanjay Raiba. Even today, this type of Raiba is called Sanjay Raiba because it tries to weaken the personality and the morality of other side. So Pandava said, okay, we will think over and we will come back to you. Sanjaya has gone to Sri Krishna to take his leave before leaving to Hastinapura. But to his surprise, he has seen Sri Krishna, Satchabhama, Arjuna and Draupadi on the same bed with so much intimacy between them. He wondered to see such a scene and immediately he realized the friendship and the intimacy between Sri Krishna and Arjuna. So that's why he said, Yatra Yogesra Krishnu, Yatra Bardho Dhanur Dharaha, Tattastri Vijayo Bhuti Dhruva Anidhan Matir Mama. Where Yogesra Krishna and Dhanur Dhar Arjuna together, where they stay, where they stand, the victory will be there. It's very difficult to defeat them. Sanjaya returned from Pandavas and gave the account of what happened 
ഇൻ പാണ്ഡവാസ് സഭ ആൻഡ് ഹി അഡ്വൈസ് ധൃതരാഷ്ട്ര ടു കം ഇൻ ടു എ കോംപ്രമൈസ് വിത്ത് പാണ്ഡവാസ് ആൻഡ് ധർമ്മരാജ ഹി അഡ്വൈസ് ഹിം ടു ഗിവ് എ വേ ദി ഷെയർ ഓഫ് ദി കിങ്ഡം ടു പാണ്ഡവാസ് ജുഡീഷ്യസിലെ he told them he told him time would favor to such persons of dhrashtra and duryodhana for some time only and once stars change everything would be lost in no time he is upset sanjaya was also upset with ongoing things he is he is also mentally disturbed so he said sir i will explain all these things tomorrow in kaurava mahasabha i am already tired i will go and take rest dhritarashtra was upset he could not understand what is going on why sanjaya did not tell anything moreover he advised him to give away the share to pandavas so in that agani he called vidra immediately vidra came and tried to tell some words of solis and mend the thinking of vidra dhritarashtra vidra is a basically a dharma swarupa we know he is an avatar of yama dharma raja himself vidra explained almost four five hours to dhritarashtra about various dharmas a self improvement philosophy to lead a great life and to, to achieve success through dharma is all called vidra neetis it is a wise ethical and political science teachings luckily last week only swami chitru chitrupananda garu acharya of chennai mission noida has given a beautiful and elaborate discourse on this subject with a few selected verses from mahabharata so almost vidra explained everything to dhritarashtra about the dharmas and he told him many times it's not good on your part to disown pandavas they have a they have an affection towards you they treat you as a father they have not done any mistakes to your sons only your sons have done mischief towards pandavas so you better give their share of kingdom dhritarashtra is such a character he was listening everything but somehow he wants and he wants a 
reply or an assurance from Vidra that only Kauravas will win the game. But when Vidra was telling like this, he is not happy. So he was going on asking, oh, no, tell me next, tell me next, tell me next. There is no end to it. Because he is not ready mentally to listen to, listen to all these nitis, Vidra nitis. So at the we hours of dawn, Vidra said, he is also almost tired up. So he said, Sanatjur Sanatsuyat of you says, there is no death on earth. It's not there at all. All the doubts you have in your mind, he will dispel in a jiffy. Shall we invite him? Sanatsuyat of your means, he is a Sanatana. He is a very old Mahayogi. He is the son of Brahma. Brahma Manasaputra. He will dispel all your doubts in a jiffy. In a jiffy means in no time. He will clear all your doubts. I will better call him. So, Dhritarashtra said, how is it possible? There is no death. You know what that Sanatsujata tells? If so, you better explain him why he why you require him here. You, you, can, you can also explain him all these things. Then Vidura replied, I am born in the Sutra caste and therefore I do not venture to say more than that what I have already said to you. I don't have the Authority to tell about the Sanatan Dharmas, only he can tell. The Rishi leading a life of celibacy is none other than Paramatma, in my opinion. So Dhrashtra wondered whether he can meet with that ancient and immortal one with his mortal body. You are telling that he is a Brahmavans Putra. Can we see him? Can we call him? He said. Vidra said, yes. I invite him. He will come. Vidra prayed to Sanatsujata and immediately Sanatsujata appeared before them. Tritrashra and Vidra have done Arghya Puja, Pada Puja and all those things. And after all the Pujas, one Sanasujata seated, Vidra told him that Dhritarashtra wants to have the knowledge of Atma Vidya from you. Sanatsuyata said, yes. Okay, I will. So, Sanatsuyata gave Dhritarashtra the insight into the nature of Brahman, which can tide over all his sorrows, gain and loss, what is agreeable and disagreeable, decrepit to you and death, fright and jealousy, lux, etc., which may all born by him. Decrepit to means very old, not cared for by any, anybody. Fright means fear. So, how to come out all these problems? 
and become deathless, he explained. So that is son of Sridhagri. Before going into the subject, I want to explain two important aspects of this subject. One is death, second is Atma Vidya. After the great Mahabharata war was over, King Yudhishthira was not willing to take over the reins of the kingdom. He is mentally disturbed that only because of him and because of his lust for kingdom, all that war took place and all the kith and kin brothers, everybody died. About 18 atrocities of Sainya army was killed. So he is in a desperate mood. He is not ready to take over the reins of the kingdom. Draupadi and others explained him so much that there was nothing wrong with him. At that time, Dharmaraya's fourth brother, Nakula, he explained about death. He said, Mama, Mama means me and mine. Na mama, not me, not me. This mama, that is me and mine, it creates the attachments which leads to desires and lust. And when the desires are not met, it leads to anger and destructive qualities, which finally leads to death. Na mama denotes the detachment which leads to nishkam karma. That is, act upon your prescribed duty without any desire of the desire. So, Nakala explained that death is in our hands only. So, As Nishkam Karma, you do your job. Because Kauravas and Duryodhana were so bad, we waged a war and we won the game, we won the war. Now there are no enemies. It is our duty to rule the kingdom. So you rule the kingdom with detachment. With Nishkama Karma, there is nothing seen in it. Like that, he explained. There is one more instance in Mahabharata about death. The creation of the goddess of death was explained like this in Mahabharata. That Brahma has created by his will the goddess of death and ask her to the duty of taking lives of living beings. Goddess of death, that is Mrityu Devata, feared of sin and left to do penance to Himalayas. After some years again, Lord Brahma appeared before her. Brahma assured Mrityu Devata that not only sin would be attached to her, and also nobody related to the deceased person would blame the goddess of death. As the living beings 
take birth along with the deserts and lush, which lead them to their death in due course. That's why when somebody dies, their kith and kin or their children, their relatives, nobody will blame the death. Because death is a part, is also a part of life. It is the end of life. It is inevitable that everybody knows. So nobody blames death. So Brahma has given such boon to Mrityu Devata. So this is about death. Next subject I want to explain is Atma Vidya. This Atma Vidya is inherent and a natural potential in every Jivatma. Because every person knows that he will, his life will end one, hour, one day or another. So, because we came from where? We came from the God, we came from the Ishwara, that everybody knows. And finally, we have to go there only. That also we know. So that's why every human being knows, has got this knowledge, Atma Vidya. It is considered to be the higher knowledge by which one knows the changeless reality. It is knowledge that is all pervading and supplied and supplied, everlasting and the source of all, says Upanishads. This Atma Vidya, first was taught by sage Vasishta, Vasishta Maharshi to Lord Sri Rama. It was the first and foremost theory of self-knowledge and famously known as Yoga Vasishta. That is the first theory of Atma Vidya. Second is Sanatsuja Third is Bhagavad Gita. So only these three. For Atma Vidya, only these theories are the basis for any religion. <clears throat> Let it be Hinduism, Christianity, Muslim, Buddhism, Jainism, and any other religion in the world. These are the basics. Only these theories are the basics. The exponents of theory of any religion fall in the lines of these three theories only. After telling all this also, Dhritarashtra has not realized anything. That's why Vyasa Maharshi had one place used an expression, Dhritarashtra Manasi. Dhritarashtra Manasi. Matlab, Dhritarashtra is a human. Oh, human, a man, he said. So we have to conclude whether Dhritarashtra is human or any human in nature. The desire of the great Rishish was to give the honey of ambrosial wisdom and knowledge to the entire mankind and give entry to common man into the realms of celestial bliss and salvation. On this 
subject of advaita only earlier i have given the presentation of shivadvaita shuddha sarakam in the world conference on vedanta in boston usa as per that shuddha sarakam which is part of pure consciousness sri kumar deva maikanda deva nayanar of 13th century he has given his thoughts of motra there are many inherent and natural potentials in every jivatma there are many theories and interpretations of liberation from suffering and rebirth dvaita advaita visishta advaita and all monism qualified monism dualism at one or other time every human being thinks of his or her origin as god but due to maya he falls in the will of worldly desires difficulties and deaths again by god's grace only the jivatma realizes his folly and starts his journey towards parmatma it may take a few hundred or thousands of years but finally this jivatma joins parmatma one day that is moksha as per suddha sadakam that is called shiva advaitam world is nothing but shiva and the manifestation of the shakti or energy of shiva the soul which is nothing but one with shiva with an bondage that is jivatma of darkness and illusion once jivatma comes out of parmatma he falls in darkness and illusions so he has to come out of this illusion and become a limb of shiva that is a shiva angi sakya so this is simply about atmanicha so i will go into the main subject now sanat sujati dhritarashtra board with respect to sanat sujata and question him in a secluded place desirous of obtaining the highest knowledge of the self he said oh maharshi sanat sujata i hear that you are of the opinion that there is no death and also i learn that the gods and asuras practice ascetic austerities in order to avoid death that means one way it is you are saying there is no death and second side asuras and devas are trying to avoid death so out of these two theories which is true please explain sanat sujata expounds the theory of yoga to dhritarashtra he says ignorance or lack of wisdom is death and the absence of ignorance is immortality that means 
ಅವರ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಡೆತ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿ ವೀಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಡೆತ್ ಟು ಗಾಡ್ ಯಮ ಸಿಂಪಲಿ ದೇ ಸೇ ದತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯಮ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲೌಡೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ಯಾಷನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಪ್ರೈಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಪ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೌಟಸ್ನೆಸ್ ದೇ ವಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಅನ್ರೈಟಿಯಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ವಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ ವೀಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆತ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ವಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೇ ಅನ್ರೈಟಿಯಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವೀಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆತ್ ಜನ್ಮದ ಮರಣ ಚಕ್ರ and those they have conquered their deserts succeed by self restraint to acquire the knowledge of brahman and attain salvation by the practice of yoga who succeed by self restraint all these deserts only that type of yogis can attain the salvation sanat sujata explains about death embodied creatures from their connection with earthly enjoyment are obliged to sojourn in a cycle of rebirth up and down and around they would be unable to attain the knowledge of brahma the nature of inclination of man towards pursuits that are unreal is alone the cause of the senses being led to error the soul is constantly affected by the pursuits of objects that are unreal remembering only that with which is always engaged at all only earthly enjoyments that surround it the desire of enjoyment first kills him lust and wrath soon follow behind so desire lust wrath these are the things which kills the man nobody kills the man he kills himself he gets the death on his own that's why brahma has given the boon to death that nobody will blame you it is their fault the it is their folly to get the death desire is indeed ignorance darkness and hell in respect of all creatures and swayed by it they lose their senses that soul which is in our body with wrath and covetousness and filled with ignorance is death so that soul which has got all these bad qualities of wrath and filled with ignorance that itself is death so there is nothing like death. that is what we are talking to that right now and he gave atma vidya to dhritarashtra he has given the jnana knowledge who gets the jnana who gets the knowledge knowledge means brahmana brahma vidya he becomes brahma himself and there is no death to such persons they get salvation they get mukti Sanasujyata says, there is one but one Brahman, which is the truth itself. Brahman means truth, satcham. The truth itself is the Brahman. But there is none who has attained to true self or Brahman. Sanasujyata says, he that regards the material body to self, if he succeeds in renouncing desires at once, attain emancipation of Brahma. That means who renounce the world, 
who renounce world means desires who renounce desires he gets emancipation or brahman or mukti he that own, he that knows self also knows what is not self if you know what is self you will know what is not self also if you know atma you will know anatma he that knows only what is not self does not know the truth who doesn't know the difference of atma and anatma he will not get the knowledge he will not get the truth and he will fall in the will of birth and death he that knows the proof knows also that which is sought to be proved so these are the theories of knowledge vedas now about this mukti emancipation moksha atma vidya all these things are explained in many ways in vedas and upanishads vedas are used for indicating the highest attributes of the soul beyond the conception of vedas the man of yoga through meditation only can be holy in this way he is a muni and superior to all who knows his own nature mere study of vedas is not sufficient just you know you, you have studied vedas upanishads mahabharata bhagavata everything but that is not enough you will not get the knowledge he that is established in truth knows the object knowable by vedas and attain the heavenly prosperity through the gates of truth uprightness modesty self control purity of mind and conduct and knowledge of vedas by destruction of vanity and ignorance sanasthijara explains further that after the senses have been restrained the will has been merged in the pure intellect the state that succeeds one of the utter absences of worldly thought even that is knowledge leading to the attainment of brahman which is attainable only by practicing brahmacharya subtler than subtle of excellent as capable of looking into both the past and future brahman is awake in every creature brahman is there only it is not a ad ekkado led it is in also in brahman is in everywhere it is on in every creature it is not in our body only those who knows this truth the real knowledge of brahman and they don't have the fear of death and that is deathless immortality who knows all this who who gets this knowledge of brahman who realizes who realizes the knowledge of brahman by yoga they will not have any fear of death and that is deathless immortality Sarasujata says that universal father dwells in the heart of every created thing. Those who know this truth know the knowledge of Brahman and they don't have the fear of death and that is the truth of mortality. So that is about Jnana. Sarasujata explained to Dhritarashtra. Sanasujata explained transcendental qualities a person should have they are righteousness truth self restraint delight in the happiness of others modesty forbearance 
love to others sacrifices gifts perseverance knowledge of scriptures all these constitute the practice of brahma that is brahma jnanam we can get only through this only when we have all these good qualities and he also explained the gates leading to the hell lust anger and greed every sane man should give up these for the lead to the degradation of soul the transcendental qualities were explained by lord krishna in devas and sampadi bhagavatam in bhagavad gita bhagavad gita explained all these transcendental qualities sri krishna says iti guhya dhamam shastram ज्ञाने they will get emancipation they will get moksha so sri krishna explains what are the good qualities in devasar sampadi bhag yoga abhayam satya samsuddhi jnana yoga vyavasthiti danam damaste yascha swadhyayatva ajyavam ahimsa satyam akrodha ृति शोचम अद्रोहो नाति संपदम दैवी अभिजात भारत सो श्री भगवान एक्सप्लेन्स टू अर्जुन निर्भयत्व अंतकरण स्थिति ज्ञान पे ज्ञान योग दृढ़ स्थिति दान दम यज्ञ वेदाध्ययन शरीर इंद्रिय अंतकरण सरणत्व अहिंस सत्यम क्रोधम लेकुट त्यागम शांति एवरनी निंपुंड अन्नी प्राण दया इंद्रिय विषय नसक्ति लेकुट कोमलत्व विश्रा लेकिन कार्याचरण पागुट तेजस्स क्षम धैर्य बाह्यशुद्धि एवर पैन द्रोहभाव लेकुट आडंबरत्व लेकुट इवन अर्जुन दैव संपद लक्षण पार्थ राक्षस प्रवृत्ति त्रिविधम नरक द्वारम काम क्रोधस्तोभ तस्मादेतुजे काम क्रोध नरका द्वार आत्मनाशना कारण कूड़ी विचिपे दि सें थिंग वाज एक्सप्लेन एलियर बिफोर Krishna explained to Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita, Sanatsujata has already explained all these things 
to Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra is really a fortunate person because he has a good counseling from Sanjaya first, then Vidura, then Sarathujata, Brahma Manasaputra. And further, Sanjaya explained because he has got that boon from Vyasa Maharshi that whatever happens in Mahabharata war, he can know, he can see it. And after Bhishma was fallen by Arjuna in the war. Then Dhritarashtra asked what is happening in the war and Sanjaya explained from the beginning and he explains the Bhagavad Gita and Atma Vidya, what was taught by Sri Krishna to Arjuna in the beginning of the war. That means Dhritarashtra has also got that Atma Vidya, what was taught by Sri Krishna. So he was so fortunate to get the knowledge of Atma Vidya. Still, because of his love and affection towards his son, Yodhana, he doesn't relate. He has always got a desire that his son should win the war and he will be the only king of the kingdom. So, now, Sanatsujata explained Dhritarashtra about the creation of this universe. Mahayasas, the primary seed. Sanatsujata explained that the primary seed of the universe called Mahayasas is destitute of accidents. It's a pure knowledge and blazes is effulgence. It is in consequence of that seed that Brahman becomes capable of creation and it is through it that Brahman creates, increases its expansion. That eternal one endued with divinity is beheld by yogins by the mentalize. That primary seed, it is a swayam who, it has got self prakasam It is that seed which Entering into luminous bodies gives light and heat. It gives light and heat. It doesn't, it, it doesn't require any light and heat. It gives light and heat to Surya, Sun God, Moon, everything. Without deriving its light and heat from any other thing, it is self-luminous. The form of that one, one means God, Paramatma, Jnana. So actually, Paramatma has got so many names in our Vedas. They call him Paramatma. Jnana, Jnana itself is Paramatma. Jnana itself is Moksha. Who gets the Jnana, he gets Moksha. The form of that one cannot be displayed by any comparison. It cannot be 
compared by any, anything. None ever behold with him by the eye. Nobody can see that God or that Paramatma or Jnana within this mental eyes. They that know him by the rapt faculties, the mind and the heart become freed from death. It is that creature soul which is Ishwara pervading everything in the universe. Everything should be regarded to have sprung from it. This whole creation has come from the that primary seed only. That seed is called in the Vedas as Tat. We are unable to describe. Nobody can describe it. Vedas, Upanishads also failed to describe. They, they explained, no doubt. But still, there is much about what was explained in Vedas and Upanishads. So, that one, one means Paramatma, cannot be explained or described. That supreme controller, worthy of reverential hymns, capable of everything, when wasted with the accident and the prime cause of everything, is manifest as an alert in creatures' souls. Fools alone do not behold him. That eternal one with endued with divinity is beheld by yogins by their mental eye. Only yogins with their mental eye, not with their physical eyes, only their mental eyes. In their heart, they can see that one, that eternal seed, that Mahayasas, that Paramatma, with that knowledge only they can see and not by any ordinary people. So that is what was explained by Sunay Sanat Sujata. And after explaining about death, Atma Vidya, transcendental qualities, etc. Sanasuyata disappeared. And we know next Sri Krishna comes. He explains every good and bad of war. He explains what is going to happen. He explains Kauravas will be killed in the war. They are nothing before Arjuna. And if Dharma, Dharmaraju gets angry, nothing can stop and be stopped, all these things. Still, Dhritarashtra and Duryodhana did not agree and finally the war took place. And we know Pandavas have won the war. So that is another story, anyway. So we come to epilogue. This Sanasujataha, Sanasujatiyam, which is called Sanasujatiyam, what is the, the theory of Atma Vijja taught by Sanasujata is called Sanasujatiyam. It is relevant even today. It is relevant to any age, any yoga. He has said by him, every person has to cultivate at least one of the transcendental qualities to become immortal. He explained so many things. Satcham, dharmam, everything, dana. You follow at least one, you will get the immortality. Because one, if you follow, automatically other qualities you will get. The knowledge of self leads any person to the heavenly bliss. But in Kaliga, is it possible? In Kaliga, 
yoga, yaga, tapa are not practicable as in the days of such yoga. Lord Krishna himself told Uddhava after the war is over, after 36 years of war is over, Krishna decided to go back to his place and Uddhava comes crying to him, what will happen to me if you leave me here like this? And Lord Krishna answers Uddhava, my dear Uddhava, neither philosophical speculation nor meditational yoga nor finances can give me such pleasure as the devotional service practiced by the living entities, that is bhakti. The self-realization which was achieved in the Satcha Yuga, that is Krata Yuga, by meditation. In the Trinata Yuga, by the performance of different sacrifices. And in the Dwapara Yuga, by worship of Lord Sri Krishna. They all can be achieved. They are not possible to practice in Kali Yuga. So, they can be achieved. The Motra can be achieved in Kali Yuga, by simply chanting the holy name of the God. You pray my God, you take every day and night my name, Krishna, 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 you will get the mantra, he said. That's why even Siva tells Parvati, Sri Rama, 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 Rame, Rame, Manorame, Sahasrama, Tatpildam, Rama, Nama, Rama. Parvati asked, you told me about thousand eight names of Vishnu Deva. Is it possible to do all these things? Is there any other solution? And Shiva simply said, Sri Rama, 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 Eti, Rama, 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 he said, three times Rama, 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 it is equivalent to thousand names of Mahavishnu. So, Rama, Rama, you do, he said, he said. It's not that the power of Nama was not realized in Krita Yoga, Treta Yoga, Dvapra Yoga. Because Valmik Maharshi, how he got his power to write Ramayana. So the sages, the Saptam Harshis advised him to, to the penance, saying that Mara, Mara, Mara. So Mara, Mara means to be Mara, 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 Mara. So Valmik Maharshi has got the Tapasyakti only by name only. Like that, Sita Devi for one year when she was in the custody of Ravana, she was doing the japa of Rama only. Anjaneya, Hanuma, he has not done any pena, any ajnas, yagas, etc. He was doing only Rama Rama. Even Kirtayaka, Prahlada has done Narayana Nam. And Bhagavan has appeared before him. So, so Nama, its Shakti was there. It was realized in Kirtayaka, Kirtayaka, Vapriyaka, everything. But, Normally, in those yugas, sacrifices were done, worship was done. But in Kali Yuga, people are not that much capable of doing all these things. 
भगवान हैज गिवन अज ए सिंपल सोल्यूशन टू गेट सैल्युएशन दैट इज डू नाम जपा चैतन्य महाप्रभु born in 1486 in the town of nadia he is considered to be the incarnation of lord krishna he explained the importance of nama he advised all the people to do nama japa only devotional service is the only path by which one can achieve the supreme person afterwards the same was explained by many people hari krishna movement has come so today throughout the world hari krishna hari krishna hari ram hari rama so this nama japa is practiced by everybody later lord sri krishna mahana born in the year 1918 18 in the year 1865 in sonamukhi bankura district west bengal he is considered to be the due, a reincarnation of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu by the devotees of his mahatma he has spread the message to repeat the lord's name day in and day do he used to write thousands of letters to their to his devotees to his relatives devotees friends so many thousands of letters he has written they have come in four books it's called pagal harnath the devotees used to call him as pagal harnath pagal means pagal of love affection so it has come all these books have come in different languages he has written bengali later it was all those four books were tra- translated to gujarati telugu hindi and so many other languages as per him god is not an object of fear but of love the path to god is aspiration and emotion not intellectual by intellectual you will not realize the god you will you can realize the god with your emotion with your prayer with your aspiration with your love so develop taste for the chanting of name compassion towards being and service of the poets he always takes take name take name of the god take name of any god which melts your heart which melts your heart that means you say rama you say krishna you say shiva any name you take whatever you, you like but repeat it go on repeating dig and dig the same well you will get the water if you go on digging the same well you will get the water if you get, dig at different places what will happen only your energy will be wasted water will not come out but if you dig the same well again and again and again you go depth definitely water will come that is practical so he says dig and dig the same well you will get the water do and do the same nama japa which melts your heart name generates prema it's only prema which binds us with the lord only with the love by doing the japa by doing the name by taking the name of the god love affection will generate in our hearts and that prema it it will bind us with the lord so that is teachings of chaitanya mahaprabhu and lord sri krishna mahana so i will conclude the principal aim of all religions is to teach men the way to underline to hold and sustain the universe live like a human being 
బిబ్లేకి జోన్ బిల్ మనిషిలాగా బతకాలి అని కల్టివేట్ ట్రాన్సెండెంటల్ క్వాలిటీస్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ సో మచ్ నాట్ నాట్ మీ సమస్తిజాత అండ్ ఎర్లియర్ వశిష్ట టు రామా దెన్ సమస్తిజాత టు ధృతరాష్ట్ర దెన్ కృష్ణ టు అర్జున all these transcendental qualities are explained so we have to cultivate those transcendental qualities abundant devilish nature whatever devilish nature is there whatever bad qualities are there we have to abandon them you do your job and leave it to god nishkam karma so that is the conclusion of the my speech sarva dharman parichya mam ekam saranam raja aham tva sarva papebhyo moksha ishyami mascha om purnada purnamadam purnat purnam yati purnascha purnamadaya purname avashyate om namo sri krishnaya ఓ నమో భగవతే వాసుదేవాయ ఓ నమో 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 ఐ కంక్లూడ్ ది స్పీచ్ నౌ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఆల్ టు హియర్ మై సబ్జెక్ట్ విత్ పేషెన్స్ యాజ్ ఐ ఆల్రెడీ టోల్ యూ ఐ ఆమ్ ఓన్లీ ఏ లెర్నర్ ఐ ఆమ్ ఓన్లీ ఏ బిగినర్ ఐ ఆమ్ నథింగ్ బిఫోర్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఐ take this opportunity to tell one thing our granddaughter chiranjeevi madhavi chalivendra doing 9th standard in boston america she helped me to present this subject and she prepared all this slides and she has given this background etc so i thank her thank you all namaste okay sir um prabhakar garu namaskar vandi okay thank you thank you for uh, namaskar vandi namaskar dhanyavada ఐడియాస్ <laughs> ఇవాళ అయినా రామకృష్ణ గారు వచ్చినట్టు లేరు మన దానికి ఎవరైనా స్పందనలు మీ అభిప్రాయాలు చెప్పదలుచుకుంటే తెలియపరచండి అమ్మా యు కెన్ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ యువర్ వ్యూస్ లలితమ్మ నువ్వు చెప్పు తల్లి ఏదన్న లెటర్స్ యూ నో థ్యాంక్ ప్రొఫెసర్ హర్గోపాల్ గారు 
I am um, Kannal Babu. Uh, sorry, I could not join in time into this uh, webinar. But uh, no, uh, I have gone through complete uh, lecture of yours. And um, it is a continuation of uh, what we have had during last week, last Saturday, uh, by, by Swamiji. Um, by Vidurniti. Now we had uh, uh, Sanak Sujatiyam. So, the subject is very, very uh, high profile, but you have put it in a very simple words and uh, also uh, which is very uh, understandable for a common man um, in a, such a, with the help of, you know, these PPTs and uh, you know, which we can again go through the recordings, uh, which will help us in understanding the uh, subject in more details. So we also thank your granddaughter for helping us in preparing the PPTs and making it more uh, clear to the audience. Thank you, Amarendra Bhavgaru, Chala Bajat Parandi. Thank you, Sri Taluri, Sita Rama Haragopal Garu, Miru Sanat Sujati Yamu and Anadi, Chala Adputamaina, Mahaparatan Lovuna, Nalu Mukhyamaina twenty, Vatilalo, Sanat Sujati Yamu, Chala Gopadi, Advaita Vedanta Saram, Sarva Bupanishatila Sarani Kuda, Sanat Sujatila Varu. Trutaras Tuniki, Viver in Charu, Avitanga Sarva Manavaliki Guda, Maniki, Jnana Botha Jesaru, Inni Botha Lavina Guda, Trutaras Tunilo, Yemarpu Rale du Ravalas in a twenty, Nijamaina Marpu Rale du, Kani Ayana, Avitanga Viduruni Yuka Sahacherian La Wundi, Baliamuninchi Guda, Nijaniki. Pretty Amsam Lono, Pretty Adigaduna Guda, Vidura Nithian and Tamidrudu, Tharma both a chaste name, Unadkani, Turtharas Tuni Yoka, Goodi Preman and Tarandike, a blind Preman Mata, Tano Kurkumi Duna, a Moha Nimatku Aina, Jain Chalekapoya, Sri Krishna Paramatma Yoka, Viswarupa Sandar Sanani, Darsin Chikuda, Aina Lo. Mark Rale Dunte, Ajivuni Yoka Samskar Malantidi, Alla Wunda Kudu and Naniti Niman Vandaran Kuda, Nerchko Valley. E. Sanat Sujati Yamu and Nadi, Asaluchala Oka, Vudatta Mina Twenty, Mahatar Mina, Advaita Botha Saraka Mina Twenty, Oka Manaki, Manandarki Guda, Anubrahim Chabadina, Mahaparthan Loni, Oka Kutamina Katam. Vidura Niti, Sanat Sujati Yamu, Yaksha Presnalu, Nahusha Presnalu, even Niguda, Sarva Manavaliki, Jnana, Dayakamina Twenty, Andulonu, Mukyanga, Brahmamana Saputrulu, Motamodati, Generation and Mata, Sanat Kumaru, Sanat Sujatu, we are Naluguri Lona Twenty, Sanat Sujatu Lavaru, Tritara Studiki, Chipina, Advaitam, Danimiru, Chala, Vistruta Maina, Amsani. Achinta, Sukhmanga, Surala, Sarala Tamanga, Oka, Ganta Gantana, Lopala, Chaparu, Danta Patu, Miru, Boston, Lo, Japina, Sutatarakum, Siva, Dwaita, and the Dani Gurinchi Guda, Chaparu, Mikuchala, Hurdepur, Kamaina, Apinandana Landi, in the Chakani, Amsani Gurinchi, Mandarki, both in Chinanduku, Mi Amulame, and Samayani Makosum, Keta in Chinanduku Guda, Mi Veda Samskriti, Samiti, Pakshana, Sri Harago Palgaru Miku, Hurdaipuruka Kurtegna Talu, Telejes to Namandi, Mandaranguda Ivala Vini, Tanula Mayam Nijangani, Bremhagnanamu and Edi, Anuvake Vajimun and Taru, Priti Wakar Mukti and Edi, Yakadinicho, Voce the Kadu, Wunna Dani, Wunna than Manu, Grehin Chagalagali, as Satyani Kuda, Sanat Suja Telavar Manaki, Teleperchinatra Miruda Chala Baga Jiparandi, Miku Tanya Vatalu. And Lalita Mine Katarwata di Manu, conduct Jedama Prayera Tanyavadalu, Argopalgaru Naskar, Meno Kunjum Arugi on the Bando Padamako Jarangandi. So the result of that I was not participating very actively. 
Shamitam. And uh, incidentally, my brother also is not, uh, is preoccupied, it seems. Oh, no. Babu has come. Babu, he's oh, there. Okay. Thank uh, you. Thank you very much. And uh, give us uh, another opportunity for us. Give another lecture for you on another subject. I'm very glad. IVRS Murtigaru, I think he wants to talk. Murtigaru, are you there? Uh, he was there. Please, please uh, give your views, sir. Murtigaru, thank you for introducing Argo Parga to us. Sir, when are you talking about? I'm sir. Unable to unmute. Uh, I think you have to grow. Give him a permit to unmute. So very nice lecture today. We had your uh, excellent uh, lecture one of the part in the uh, in this uh, Sanat Sanasudati really a great lecture and we had a very important value added uh, points from the Bhagavad Gita. So very thank you, sir, and it is pleasure that uh, you have accepted, even though you are in states, taking time and uh, participating in this. I bless uh, my blessings to your granddaughter. We have to depend on grandparents, grandsons, and grandparents only for our uh, mm -hmm. digitalizing this uh, PPT point of view and all that. Definitely, they will help us, and then my blessing to your granddaughter. So thank you very much for. Uh, Giving this wonderful lecture, sir. That's what I can. Where, where are you, sir? Argo Palgar, yes. Boston, 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 Boston. Boston. And the president Boston, actually Vijayawada. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our daughter is here, so we came here for about six months. Okay. Any other? Yes, came. Yes, came. Sastri Garu. Namaskar. Sastri Garu, Namaskar. 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 Chappan, Namaskar. Please. Ah, Talbad Chakkarindi. In the club, Saraja, Sajati, and Lo. Kanga, Dutra Shuriki, Saraj Saja, the Brahma Manas of Tru Jepina, Saravata, Sanjay Jepina, Vidru Jepina, Christu Jepina, Suyasu Jepina, Ever Jepina, and Duriki, the Adakani, Agdianiki, Kavitanga on to the Kani, and the Manander Gopa Portun, the Ian Kupa Pena, and Uwe Portopena, with Salabaga, Pilanga, what you Jepper, Santa Sunday, Noskar. Our cool ga, Sakaga, under Gatoni Vasolo, Adavica Chapaganda, Saka Kulga Chipper, Salabondi, Salatanya. So let's go Palun and a classmate, sir. Ah, seventy bachelor and classmates. Seventy bachelor and a girl and girl juniors. Today and uh, yesterday and today. There is a very important activity in our college, Kakanada, 75 years of uh, establishing of our college. There's a great function. Our Garkapad uh, Narsimharavar also participated in that uh, one of the lecture. And uh, to yesterday and today, we were busy with that actually in Zoom, even though we are physically present there. So Haragopal and uh, we, are, we are part and parcel of the programs. <laughs> mm. yes. So I'm a little engineer, so we have the same branch. Yes. Namaskar. Uh, shall we close Pradhana and uh, Janaganamana? Yeah. Uh, Pradhana? Uh, yeah. Shall I do it, Pradhana? Yeah. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makachit Dukkabhavi Om Shanti 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 Matrud Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Ubhunattu Sahaviryan Karavavahai Tejasvinavadhi Tamastuma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Satcham Vada Dharmanchara Sarve Jana Sukno Bhavantu Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwara Guru Sakshat Param Brahma Pasmai Sri Gurave Nama 
हरि ओम सर्व श्री कृष्णापणमस्तु जनगणमन जनगणमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल वंगा विंज हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उज्ज्वल जलधि तरंगा जय तव शुभ नामे जाके तव शुभ नामे जाके तव शुभ आशीष मागे आहे तव जय गाधा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय जय हिंद जय हिंद जय जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय श्री राम धन्यवाद